Alright, it's February 2020. 72,000 people are infected. 1,700 are already dead. Governments are lying to the press. The virus is spreading. There's no way to stop it. And you are freaking out. Stop. What exactly are we so afraid of? That we're all gonna get infected and die? That's ridiculous. I have a story to tell you and I want you to listen to it very carefully because it's going to change your perspective. This is Gune. He's from Turkey. He studied viola for 12 years and he is dying. I'm going to die. Not long ago, he was informed that his days were counted. They told him they cannot say exactly how long he will live, but that he needs to be ready for it. He wakes up every day knowing that this might be the last day of his life. Since then, he decided that he was not going to waste any more time in things that don't make him happy. He looked at his life and realized that playing viola was not his passion and that he actually wanted to be an electronic musician. So he learned how to DJ. He applied to Berklee College of Music in the United States and went all the way until graduating with a degree in music engineering. He moved to Los Angeles to pursue his dream and joined a foundation to help people while traveling the world. And it makes sense. I mean, Gune is going to die, for real. Why would he waste any second of his life? Now, guess who else is going to die? You. Stop. You are going to die. Think about that for one second. Now, not only you are going to die, but your best friend is going to die, your mother is going to die, your father, your siblings, grandparents, everyone you know, literally everyone in the whole world. We are all going to die. So the question is, what do we do with this information? We have created a society that detaches ourselves from the concept of death. Let me explain what I mean. When we eat meat, we never see the death of the animals. We just see the piece of meat inside a box as if it was another man-made product. When we lose a family member, we hire people to treat the bodies and bury them so that we don't have to deal with it. When we lose a pet, we lie to our children about it. We think explaining death will make them feel sad, so we prefer to not expose them to it. Think about it. The fact that we are going to die is what makes our time on this earth valuable, and it should be a reminder to use our time wisely, to not get stuck in useless, meaningless moments. I have seen brothers that don't talk to each other decades over money, people that stay in jobs they hate for years and postpone their dreams for the most ridiculous reasons. But what they don't realize is that this is it. This is your life. It's happening now. Whatever you don't do before getting old, that's it. You didn't do it. There's no second chance. There's no second season. So this coronavirus situation should not freak us out. It should remind us, it should remind you to live your life now. Because either way, with coronavirus or without it, we don't know when we're going to die. So if there's something you need to say to someone, say it. Do the things you want to do. The things you feel inside you should be doing, that voice inside is always right. Just listen to it. Because in case you forgot, you are going to die. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. I know I have to come up with some kind of ending for these videos, but I never know what to say at the end. So if you have an idea, leave that idea in the comments and I will reply and let's talk about it because I need suggestions. I've been doing this for almost a year and it's been really fun and it's like a side project for me. But I really enjoy making these videos and I would like to make them more often. But for that I need to make it sustainable. So if you like my videos and you want to support the channel, go to patreon.com slash Alan's Theory. I will leave the link in the comments area. Another way of supporting is by subscribing to the channel and liking this video because it makes a big difference in the YouTube algorithm. If you're still watching, you are awesome. Thank you so much. See you. Hopefully next week or in two weeks, something like that. Goodbye.